Welcome to my workshop. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make such a lovely plushy blanket. It's very easy. You need neither any tools nor knitting experience to make one. The soft fluffy yarn is so satisfying to touch and the blanket comes out very warm. I'm going to use Alizé puffy yarn. When I first saw it, I thought, what a nonsense of a yarn, how can you possibly knit from it? But not only does it turn out possible, but also doesn't require any crochet hooks or knitting needles. It consists of the loops of the same size, so you can just use your hands to knit and it's a really fast process. It only took me one evening to make a blanket one by one meter. To make a plate one meter wide, first you need to count 50 loops. I'm taking 10 right now, just to show you how the knitting is done. Here in my right hand, I've got the next loop after the previous 10. And I run it through the last 10th loop in my first row. And then I run the next loop through the 9th in the first row. And so on. Just keep on running your next new loops through the next loops in the previous row. That's basically all we're going to do throughout the whole blanket. This pattern is the easiest of all you can knit from this yarn. If you're interested in more, hit like and let me know in the comments. I'll see them and make one more video about other cool patterns. So I'm done with my first row. Now I need to make a turn. To start the next row, run the next free loop through the previous knitted one. And repeat all the same moves. There is totally nothing difficult about it. Here's what two knitted rows look like. Another turn and keep going. And here I've already done 5 rows in just a couple of minutes. This is the outside and here's the back. Make a turn and keep going. The whole process is like a meditation, it totally carries you away. This is my warm-up version and now I'll show you the real one. It's all the same, only the rows are along the length. Now here's what you do if your ball of yarn is over and you need to bring in the next one. Cut the last loop at the bottom to get a tail like this. Make the same kind of tail in the new ball and just tie them together. I make a triple knot and tighten it up well. That's secure enough. Now, cut off the tails and keep knitting as if nothing ever happened. It took me 5 balls of yarn to knit a 1 by 1 meter blanket. Here I've got the short tail remaining. I knit the last few loops and I'm about done with my blanket. To close the edge, I move to the start of my last row and here's what I do. I put each previous loop onto the next one, like that. Start from the very first loop and continue till the end of the row. It's super easy, isn't it? So that's the edge we get. Keep going up until the last loop. And here it is. Now close the knitting, grab your scissors, cut the next loop at the bottom, Run it through the last one, I do it twice, and 
tighten it up. Now we just need to cut off the tails in the end and in the beginning and the blanket is ready. An amazingly soft and plushy plate, sheer sensory and aesthetic pleasure. Subscribe to my channel and watch my other interesting videos.